Okay, everybody. Our eyes. This is a proof of concept. I don't know whether you remember the first video a couple of months ago now. What if I was to put 2208, 2600 kV motors onto a ZMR? I haven't got any of the um, camera gear on it yet. None of the FPV equipment's on there. But we'll have to whack that camera in and put the transmitter on the back. But instead of the cheap Hobby Wing clone eBay knockoffs that I was trying to use with this style of motor, I've gone and bought some ZTW spiders. And they did have a problem as well at first when I first connected them up uh, to this particular set of motors. And I, what I do each time I do connect them up, I, I put them onto a, um, got one handy here, one of my receivers, and I just check it out after I do each one. A few alligator clips, boom, 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 off we go, check it out. Um, I found that they were being a little skittery, and my God, the motors got hot. These motors got, mate, you could boil water with them within seconds and that was with the plane settings I do believe around here somewhere I've got the but they're online here they are here this was pretty fantastic actually having a manual that comes with your ESCs my god what you get when you pay real money for real ESCs anyway through the manual it showed us here they've got a timing table what the beeps were, how many degrees out for the timing. They had it set in the grey parameters, which they said for 90% or so, most motors, it would work. Well, they didn't, not with these motors. Now, whether 8 turns an 8T22 size motor, 2600 kV, I really think it was timing involved. So... I used the programming instructions and I put it two degrees out. I didn't use auto, that was just as bad. And I went to two degrees. And with the two degrees, it worked. Now, I don't know whether I should have gone to eight because there was a slight stutter at startup, but once you get past the startup, it seems to be fine. So it might need some adjusting. So I took it outside, and unlike last time, when I took this outside, with these particular, you know, the ones that usually have red heat shrink on them, I've cut them off, put white shrink on to solder them up onto here. Yeah, there's another set. I still have a full set ready to go. When Hobby King replaces the flashing tool, still not even an email back from them yet. So I think I'll just drop the bucks and buy another one off eBay. I'm sorry for ever bagging out eBay, by the way, guys, because at least when I buy off eBay and I report it to eBay, it doesn't work. The next day I hear from eBay, and several days later you're in discussions with the people who have sold you the equipment. With Hobby King, um, I let the Christmas period go, and it was the 3rd or the 4th of January. I wrote them a little email back to CS Hobby King from the, using the same part number IDs that they told to use. Told them it was damaged. Uploaded a photograph for them with the pins loose and one of the wires off. And I have heard nothing back. So bugger Hobby King, guys. Anyway... There we go. That flew. Didn't go, I didn't get any footage because I was just needing to fly it. Uh, you smarties out there might have realized that I didn't use the, um, the good old Flip32 Nays derivative board because I'm still new to that. And even though it's set up okay on the first one and I had a fly and it was the ESC that blew up, I thought, okay, because I still have that particular one and all its gear ready to go on it. 
This was the other one I bought that we were going to do comparisons with. So we started the comparison with, I've put the CC3D on there. It fits in nicely. I just stuck it down with some double-sided tape. I put some double-sided tape on the ceiling of the top plate. And I have stuck, for the time being, the uh, eight-channel receiver that comes that you use with my good old uh, FlySky radios. So that's in there. Of course, I've got the board turned around minus 90 degrees, so it knows it's right flying the right way. And I took it out for a quick hover. She hovered good. She has extreme acceleration going straight up into the air, so much so that I flipped it, crashed it, and I did that twice. So I'm in here now to try and calm the pigs down. I'm using uh, Libra Pilot and the old Libra Pilot with it at the time being. I've got somebody else's pig values on there for a ZMR250. I think I might just throw the generics on and then work my way around before I throw somebody's crazy race pigs on because I think that's what it was, some settings from the guys who are on the old open pilot, which is now Libra pilot. Okay, so I just thought I'd keep this up to date. It is a couple of weeks after Christmas, and I didn't get the ZMR for Christmas. But, hey guys, I've got one. Proof of concept is, with decent ESCs and these extremely cheap but powerful motors... Right, we've got a flying craft. Now it's a matter of just tuning her in and getting myself organised, put some camera gear on it, some FPV equipment on it, which I've got a few different lots now. So I'll be trying out a few different lots of the camera gear as well. All right, guys, well, thanks. Thanks, heaps. Um, subscribe. Stay tuned. There'll be heaps more fun coming up with me crashing them all over the bloody place. See you soon.